My last post was on uh, using M player. Well, I was using a different, few different players to play uh, music and sounds from the command line. Uh, some of the questions were on making playlists for M player and uh, possibly shuffling the playlist. And it's actually pretty easy to do. All we have to do is create a text file with a list of all the songs we want in it. So let's do that first. So <clears throat> we're going to do uh, find and then the folder we want to search in, which in this case, I'm in my home directory, I have my music, uh, and I'll do Nine Inch Nails discography, and I'm gonna do dash I name, which is searching for names, and the I means uh, insensitive to case, so uh, it isn't case sensitive. And then we're gonna do uh, m dot or asterisk dot mp3 so we have our find command the folder we want to search and we'll search all the subdirectories in there uh, what we're looking for we're looking for the file name that's what we're searching and we're looking for files that contain uh, dot mp3 at the end so we'll do that if we uh, hit enter there you'll see it gives a list of all the nine inch nail songs I have and um, what we can do from there is just uh, to redirect that using the greater than symbol and we'll put that into a file I'll just call it nin dot playlist or you can call it whatever you want so now if I use the cat command to see what's in that file we do cat nin dot playlist so we hit enter and you see it displays the same information that we got from our find command uh, now <clears throat> I can do m player and then I'll do uh, dash playlist and the name of the file nin.playlist and you'll see it starts playing the songs that are inside that playlist and uh, I went over I'll go over it again real quick here we can use the forward arrow to skip ahead just a little bit we can use the up arrow to jump ahead in the song pretty far and then we can use the uh, up page to go to the next song down page brings you back to the beginning of the song, you're on. Uh, and control C at any time to kill that. Now to shuffle it, because you'll notice if I play it again, you know, it starts at the same song every time, the first song in the list. All we have to do is dash shuffle. And you can see I'll skip ahead in this song because it starts kind of quiet. There we go. Go next song. And you can see that it's randomly playing the song. So I kill that and start it again. You can see it's playing a different song this time around. Um, <clears throat> alternatively, you don't have to use uh, the playlist command. Uh, I'll give you an example. I can go CD uh, change directory to music. Um, Nine Inch Nails discography. I'll go into 1989 down in it. I'll list the files in here. You can see there's three files, which I probably should have picked something with more files in it, but we'll just do M player uh, asterisk MP3. And it starts playing, starts playing the first song. We do the same thing. We can just add the shuffle command. And it's playing a different song. I know it sounds the same. I should have picked a different directory. Last time I was playing track one, which was a version of down in it. Now we're playing track two, which is a different version of down in it. But it is shuffling it. Um, <clears throat> so that's a quick look at how to create playlists and, uh, and uh, shuffle them. Now one thing you want to watch out for is I'm back in my home directory here. You'll notice before when we did the find command like so um, and hit it you'll notice that it starts off each line with the music folder so this playlist won't work if I'm not in that directory uh, that's my home directory which is where we're starting because it will look for a music subfolder called music um, so if I'm already inside my music folder it will confuse the crap out of it uh, one way to adjust this would be when doing the find command to actually put out something like that I went home my username which is metal and then I searched from there so I put out the whole thing so this will work in any directory so hope that makes sense 
basically if you want that playlist to be able to be played from any folder put the full path name starting with root um, and for some of you beginners to Linux or Unix that don't know what that means uh, how can I explain it just start at the beginning and go all the way through with the file name that probably doesn't help you any anyway if, if it confuses you let me know and I'll try to explain it better anyway that's creating playlists and shuffling them with mplayer hope you're having a good day visit filmsbychris.com or bashscripts.info for more video tutorials like this have a great day